Hey guys, what's up? See Electricians in Action, where we get together and we talk about the code every day before we go out and fight the good fight. I just want to encourage you today to get out there, go get them, work hard, keep grinding. Don't forget all the reasons that you're doing this. Let's go ahead and get to it. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at a scenario today. Now, if you guys are on the 2020, this structure is going to require disconnects outside anyways, but these same rules are going to apply. But in this scenario, we're going to pretend that this meter base is a 400 amp meter base, meaning that we're going to pop out, have two 200 amp panels, and let those be the disconnects. So let's just say, for instance, it makes sense to pop out of this left-hand side first, and for whatever reason, the way this house is set up, it just makes sense to have an outdoor panel. Panel one, we're gonna put that thing outside. We're coming straight from the meter base. We're going outside. And now this is gonna be service disconnect one. So we have one service disconnect. You're allowed to have up to six service disconnects on a structure, but that's a lesson for another day. In this case, with the meter base the way it is, we're just gonna have two disconnects. So we're gonna have two 200 amp disconnects and technically they're both service disconnects. All right, now we're going to lay out our second panel. We talk with the builder, and for whatever reason, it just makes sense to put uh, the second panel in the basement. So if you look back over here on the left-hand side, we're going to pop through the back of this meter base. We're going to pop down, and we're going to pipe down to this basement. It still you know, meets our seven feet or whatever your inspectors allow. And for whatever reason, we're wanting to put this second panel down in the basement. Now this is going to become service disconnect two. And this is where things get kind of hairy. You know, we're getting ready to come back into panel season, and I just want this to be fresh on our mind. The NEC requires that the, the up to six service disconnects, that they be grouped together. So the service disconnects must be grouped together. Now, if you were doing a double disconnect scenario and then going to the panels, you could put those two panels wherever you wanted. But in this case, those main breakers are actually the service disconnects. So let's go ahead and look at the next slide at what we can do. So this is a scenario that we can do. The disconnects must be grouped together. You could put them both in the basement or I've built this scenario here where we can do them both like this. So right here on the left-hand side, we're going to pop out. We're going to go to this. This is now going to become service disconnect one. On the right-hand side, we're going to pop out again. And this is now going to become service disconnect two. So what's really cool about this, guys, is that, you know, this would probably be impractical, but I know some areas where they pretty much only do outdoor panels. So your area may be like that. Let us know in the comments below. But one thing I want you guys to be mindful of when you're laying these out, whether it's just a disconnect or a, a main panel. So let's, let's think of another scenario. If you had a 400 amp meter base and you were coming out with two disconnects, you cannot put one on this side of the building and then pipe over and put the other one on the other side of the building. They must be grouped together. So this scenario still applies for you 2020 guys that are going to have outdoor disconnects. You've got to group those disconnects together, whether they're both in the basement, if that's code compliant, or both of them out here. This is the Electrical Code Coach. This is the Electricians in Action. I hope you guys have a super day. Uh, just know that uh, you know if there's anything you need, I'm here for you anytime. You can call, text, or email. I just want to see you guys win. Stay safe out there today. Let's get to it.